Hi, we are going to talk about Huan coronavirus and the recent outbreak from China. Now Huan coronavirus is spreading to specific part of Indonesia, Japan, and Taiwan. According to John Hopkins University, there is 1,354 1, confirmed cases of coronavirus attack and 41 deaths has been reported worldwide. Now in this video, we would learn about what is the diagnosis process. So coronavirus infects your upper and lower respiratory tract, especially the lungs and your trachea. But how do you think that you are infected? What is the way that you would clearly understand that a person is infected or not? Definitely there are symptoms such as prolonged fever, sneezing, high fever. Then you should always go to the doctor. But these kind of symptoms are pretty common for any kind of fever, right? So the doctor would always ask you to perform a diagnostic test. And this diagnostic test is based on real-time PCR. Let us understand this test and how it works. So this is the genetic structure of the Huan coronavirus. And it is pretty much simple, pretty much simple. And it is similar to SARS virus, which was earlier form of the coronavirus detected in 2013. It has uh, a ORF1A and ORF1B, which codes for a particular protein, which is important for the survival of this virus. And it has another genetic element, which codes for a protein, which is important for virulence of the uh, virus. For example, the virus need to get into the cells. So this particular E protein is important in that aspect. Now, the unique signatures present in these sequences can be detected using a technique, a sophisticated technique known as real-time PCR. Let us see how that real-time PCR works. Real-time PCR works based on the cyber green chemistry. So here, the cyber green dye is a fluorescent dye which is not fluorescing when it is unbound to DNA. So in a situation when it is not bound to DNA, it is not fluorescent. But when it is bound to a DNA, it would start fluorescing. Now, it's just like a normal PCR reaction where you have a heating step followed by a primer annealing and an extension step. But here, in the extension step, the fluorescence is detected. So first, the strands get denatured, followed by a primer annealing where the primer anneals, and the polymerase move in either direction to extend it. And finally, when the extension step takes place, more and more cyber green dye attached to the DNA. As a result, increase in fluorescence takes place. And that increase in fluorescence, when it goes beyond a threshold level, it is detected by a detector. And in a quantitative fashion, it can understand how much transcript or how much genetic material there it is. It can tell you how much present or whether it is present or not. It can be very quantitative. In this particular example, you can see the second curve here takes a longer time in terms of cycles for its fluorescence to be detected by the detector. That means its abundant is, abundance is low, whereas the first gene here takes less time, so its abundance is high. So quantitative PCR can tell us about these things. We can take samples from an individual who is healthy or an individual who is suspected to be infected by this virus and isolate the RNA, make cDNA, and followed by that, we can take out the take out the qpcr reading and ultimately we can plot the fold change kinetics now if the fold change of these viral elements are pretty high especially the initial gene that is checked it's e protein containing coding region and second a region which is coding for the replicase enzyme rdrp which is a part of the orf1b so these two, if they are significantly high and they're positive, that means that particular individual is infected by the virus. Now you clearly know what are the ways by a person can be sure that he or she is infected by the virus. So panicking without understanding these things is not an option. So it's advisable that you go to your doctor and check yourself up and provide your samples such that you can have a confirmatory test. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this video among your friends and grow awareness. Thank you.